and welcome back to Devlog. Here's an incredibly accurate drawing of myself I made. In the last part I worked on... And in this part I work on the game's visual style and actually drawing more visuals for the game instead of just having everything be in grey cubes. The first thing I did was draw a bunch of trees. I quite like trees. I quite like nature. I like drawing trees. The general idea for this was that I would be able to draw a bunch of scene elements in different chunks and then just slot them together when making the level to make the level look much more detailed and complicated visually than it naturally is, when in actuality it's just a bunch of different chunks. For example, you can see now that some of the trees don't have any toppings to them. This is because the trees just blend out and fade out on the visual sprites, and then I just have separate sprites for the tops of trees that I can put overlapping on top of them, giving the illusion that I have a bunch of varied tree sprites when in actuality I only have a small amount. Another feature of this is that I have some log sprites that I can use with a shape sprite or a shape, a shape, sprite, shape, with the sprite shape to have these extending from the top of the tree bases that I have drawn. Basically, I wanted to draw a lot of these shapes so that once I have them, I can use them in a variety of settings. I don't just have one specific tree drawing. I can use this tree drawing and then edit the log surface of it or have branches attached to it to make it any size or shape to accommodate for different varied level setups and level visuals and it can, it can match a whole lot of different areas. It also means I don't have to completely draw every single level from hand because that would be, that would be far too long. I can just draw each individual chunk of visuals that I would need and slot them together with sprites. The same is for the branches of the trees. Some of them have drawn on branches for the bases of the trees, but a lot of these are just different branches that I can add as sprites overlapping on the natural logging of the trees. After this, I just drew grass tiles and rock tiles and grassy rock tiles and other things like this to add more variety to the scene, and also because I can't just have floating trees in space. I think these turned out pretty well. The grass is a much more simple visual design, it's just different blendings of different grass colours all together with some slightly different sprite shaped visuals for the grass types. But overall, very simple, very easy, very clean, just drawing grass colours, then I can overlay this, have darkened versions, as, as you're probably seeing right now, to blend the trees into the grounds. And once again, in a similar way to the trees, I use a sprite shape system with the grass so I can organise and make the grass fit in any level design I want to. Since the level designs are not very blocky and they're more fluid and bendy in their design, the grass sprite shapes really accommodate for this because they can just be stretched and accommodate any level shape. The same with the rocks. I can just place those anywhere I want and they will blend in with the grass and the trees pretty succinctly, I think at least. The general technique I tried when drawing these visuals, because I'm not a 2D artist so I'm not very good or skilled when it comes to more complicated 2D works is that I wanted to go for a less detailed approach to maybe some of these visuals but just having a whole lot of different sprites and different objects that I can overlay and add onto each other to add more details and complexities to these visuals like having a bunch of rock designs. It's easier to just to draw a bunch of different rocks that I can place on top of each other than drawing a complicated pile of rocks. Also, since I'm not particularly good at drawing details on objects, I tried to go for a more colour scheme design where the colours and blending of these different objects going together is really the more detailed aspect of these sprites, while the actual sprite detail themselves is less so. It's, it's more about the colour visuals than the actual sprite visuals. And I know what you're saying with that. If it's all about the colour visuals, why are the colours of all these sprites a muddy green? I like the colour muddy green. I think it's pretty. 
As mentioned before, the main design for a lot of these sprites was to use it with the sprite shape system. If you're unfamiliar with how this works, I essentially just make a bunch of different sprites textures. For example, the vine textures, which will be able to loop in on themselves. So at the end of one set of these textures, it can loop in and have another one of these textures. I can then have different variations of these that all loop together, and then, using the sprite shape system, I can make these bend and deform in specific ways. This means I can draw a bunch of different sprite shapes, and I can make a level based on these specific shapes. So, for example, I have some log sprite shapes that I can attach to the top of my trees. I have some branch sprite shapes. That's a lot of S words that I can attach to the side of trees to make the trees more complex or fit with level geometry. I have some rocky sprite shapes which can fit for flooring areas or floating rocks. I have some grass sprite shapes which can be grass. I have some vine sprite shapes and in previous devlogs you have seen that I have pipe sprite shapes. These make level designs significantly easier. I cannot stress enough if you're going for this specific type of 2D platformer where you want a character to move on a less blocky surface and you want them to move on a more fluid, curvy surface or more complex surfaces, just draw sprite shapes. They're significantly easy to set up. You just need to draw looping sprites, which if you're doing tile sets, you most likely already have. And once you have them set up, they are so easy. I love sprite shapes oh so much. One thing to note about this is that I've upgraded the project to whichever the version of Unity that allows 2D lighting is. I've never actually done this before, considering I mostly have proficiency in 3D designs. I've never used 2D lighting before. I am quite pleased with how easy and also fun 2D lighting is to do. I initially started to make some sprite shapes for sprite lighting. This means that I can use a specific sprite to light up the scene. So I have some sun rays that I can overlay onto scenes using these sprite shapes. Having actual lighting applied to sprites I think makes them look significantly better and more organic. Even though these sprites are just floating in midair, the fact that they have actual lighting on them, which looks somewhat organic, really, I think, aids the visual quality of the game. Especially since this specific area that I'm going for, for level 3, is more of a natural viewing level. It looks more organic, there's trees, there's grass, there's plants. So naturally, the lighting helps to emphasize this. And then to add some variety to these 2D lighting setups, I have an animation setup for each of these, which can cycle through three different variations of intensity, and by three different variations I mean four different variations, and have a specific time modifier applied to these that will loop into each other. So what I can do is I can add this to any of my 2D lighting setups that maybe have a point light and would have to move around a wall back and forth and based on the intensity I can have these rotate back and forth ever so slightly at a specific speed and change their lighting ever so slightly. This just adds more variety and more dynamic viewing to the actual lights. They don't just look like static lights in scene, they are actually moving around as the scene goes on very slightly but they're still moving so it looks more dynamic. To add some visual variety to the scene and make sure that everything doesn't just look like static sprites, the first thing I wanted to do, and there's other things but they're not in this devlog so I'm just going to say the first thing I wanted to do. The first thing I wanted to do to add more variety to visuals for the scene is to have more animated things like foliage. This was pretty easy, all I had to do was draw sprites for individual blades of grass and individual clumps of grass and maybe some leaves sticking out of the grass and then have a shader that would organically move these sprites. I then did the same for hanging leaves, so I can apply hanging leaves to trees, even more so than the already hanging leaves on the trees, and I can have those wobble about like trees blowing in the wind. This is very subtle, the same with the lighting, but if you're watching the scene, you can pick up on this mild subtlety of movements, and you can, you can think that the scene looks a whole lot more organic and natural than just a bunch of sprites. If you're curious as to how this shader works, it is incredibly simple. For grass, all I do is I limit the amount that the sprites quads can move based on the 
Y amount, so the base of the grass isn't going to wobble back and forth, but the top is just based on a noise texture, and for leaves, the sprite quads are just going to wobble back and forth based on a noise texture. It is incredibly simple, I just use the shadograph system. The shadograph system is very useful for coding shaders, because I have never looked into coding shaders, but the shadograph is very similar to how blender shaders work, so and that's useful for me, a little old blender artist. And that's it for this devlog, I really cannot find that much to say about these drawings. I'm just very happy with the drawings themselves and how they fit the game so far. I think they also help the game to look a bit more like an actual game and not just some prototype I'm making. It is a prototype, but it looks better now. It has a tree and they grass. If you're curious as to what the visual design of this level is supposed to be, it is a junk forest, so it is a forest with a bunch of junk in the forest. Pipes, old mechanics, rusty things, things of this nature. Once I actually get to designing levels, which I promise I will do eventually, you'll be able to see this design more detailed, but for now it's mostly just the sprites and the trees. I had a very fun time drawing these. As mentioned, I'm more of a 3D animator and a 3D artist, and I really haven't done a whole lot of 2D drawing in quite a long time. At least two years. So I was really happy with, first of all, how these turned out. I was honestly a little bit insecure about my 2D drawing skills. I didn't really think they were up to snuff, so to say. So I'm pretty happy with how these have turned out. I do think there is definitely flaws in the visual styles and some of the visuals for the sprites that I have drawn, but I think so far with overlaying things on top of these, adding more detail to the sprites, they look perfectly serviceable and fine, and maybe I won't have to change them too much at the final game release. Leave a comment below for anything you would like to see in a future devlog. I make game systems on a whim, so literally anything. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Sluglo, signing off. Make sure to tune in to Radio Slug.